the way Indian Americans have approached the spelling bee at uh, at least over the last decade or so, has changed the tenor of the bee for all kids who compete. South Asian American kids are dominating the Scripps National Spelling Bee. In fact, they're on an 11-year winning streak right now. South Asians make up only 1% of the U.S. population, but about 20% of spellers. And they're doing so well, they've actually forced the bee to change its rules, making the competition harder for everyone. I'm actually part of that trend, as an Indian American who competed in the bee 21 years ago. Back then, I told my hometown newspaper that I was good at spelling because I loved reading. I didn't realize I was part of a bigger story. There isn't a single reason why South Asian Americans have dominated the Scripps National Spelling Bee for the last 20 years. But it goes back to at least 1965. That's when the U.S. passed a key immigration law. It abolished discriminatory quotas based on national origin. So South Asians started migrating to America in huge waves, most of them highly educated and highly skilled. And another immigration law in 1990 brought even more South Asian professionals, thanks to the tech industry. Then in 1985, Balu Natarajan became the first Indian American to win the Scripps National Championship making headlines both here and in the Indian subcontinent. It certainly opened the door. It made it, it made it something that people could strive for. Many, many, many more people after me have proven that this is something that our community can do well in. Over the next several years, visibility ramped up. ESPN started broadcasting the B-Finals, and an Oscar-nominated documentary showcased another Indian American kid's win. Millions of South Asian kids were inspired to compete. Spelling even has its own minor leagues, South Asian community bees that help train spellers for the Scripps Nationals. It's no coincidence that this South Asian American winning streak started in 2008, the same year one of these community bees started. Dr. Shalini Shankar spent years researching this generation of spellers and their families for her book, Beeline. And one of the things that's really amazing is that those parents and the former uh, students who competed in the B will spend their time administering contests for you know younger kids. They'll help with the word lists. They'll serve as judges and pronouncers. Basically, parents are coaches. They emphasize the academic excellence that helped them immigrate here in the first place. They encourage self-reliance and help out strategically. Filmmakers Sam Rega and Chris Weller highlighted this in their documentary, Breaking the Bee. For Shorab, who you see in the film, uh, he's just typing words per second, going so fast through his spreadsheet. Uh, his parents helped put that together because in their occupation, they work with spreadsheets and like they had a sense of doing that. So they were able to impart that. All these factors, historic immigration, greater visibility, and a community focused on education, led South Asian Americans to dominate the bee. Now, they're outsmarting the bee itself. In 2013, Scripps instituted a vocabulary test, primarily because it was just taking too long for spellers to uh, just spell on stage and get eliminated. They were just, by that point, far too skilled. This is intense. I mean, the, the, the caliber or the knowledge base of each of the spellers has gone up so much, right? 34 years after Balu Natarajan became the first Indian American to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee, his 13-year-old son, Atman Balakrishnan, is competing in what feels like a very different arena. Every day I wake up at 4 o'clock, so that gives me like 4 to 7 o'clock to study. And then I try to do my homework as fast as possible and um, when I get back from school and then I get to study another two hours before I go to bed. Going from the manual dictionary and typewritten lists that you'd have to find somewhere now, you know, there are thousands of words available with many of these online modules. Mm -hmm. So um, you can study, there's a lot more to study mm -hmm. and you can study a lot faster, but that just elevates the game.